Tony Smith, analyst for the Milwaukee Bucks, and the Bucks lost Brandon Jennings uh, for a little while. He's got an injury, and the effect of that injury is really going to be, you know, teams are going to have the benefit of concentrating their defenses and their scheme and game plan on other people. And that, typically that means their next uh, person in command, which is probably going to be Bogut, who's probably the main focus anyway. So now even more attention will be paid to uh, Bogut in the post. Maybe you'll see a lot more double teams, more aggressive double teams. They don't have to worry about Jennings on the perimeter because he's a pretty good spot-up shooter. The other really big missing thing is going to be Jennings off the pick and roll. Bucks run a lot of pick and roll. Jennings, if you watch Mark Bucks play, he has the ball in his hands a lot of the time. Sort of like the other good point guards in the league, Darren Williams, uh, Chris Paul, uh, uh, Derrick Rose, those guys all have the ball in their hands a lot. Brandon Jennings is pretty much the same for the Milwaukee Bucks, and without him, guys like Keon Dooley, Earl Boykins now is going to have to step up. He has not played that much this season, but now he's going to get playing playing time here in the next few weeks, so uh, we'll see what happens and how that plays out. But, again, it's going to be a big loss for the Milwaukee Bucks, no doubt, uh, scoring-wise, assist-wise, and leadership-wise.